Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back to a brand new video. And as you guys can see today, we are back playing some Resident Evil. Now, it's been quite a while since I uh, last played this game. So I am not entirely sure how this is all going to go down. So before we start, I want to try something. Okay, so first I'm going to put those up because I don't need them right now. Uh, we're going to put this up. And I don't know. I'll hold on to the shotgun. I don't really need it with my infinite ammo weapon. But, uh, but hey, who knows? Well, uh, do I have any kerosene? I have a lighter, I know that much. So I don't know if that guy actually comes back to life, uh, honestly. But uh, I do know that I do not want him there. So anyways guys, what is up in... I'm sorry guys, if I am being a little... Uh, I guess you could say, not necessarily distant, but uh, a little more focused on the screen today. Uh, it's been a while since I've played this. I know it has, uh, my last video, we, do I need to use the lighter or the fuel canteen? I don't remember how this works. <laughs> Alright. Alright, he turned into the floor. Anyways, it's been quite a while since I've done this. Uh, in the last episode of Resident Evil, if you guys didn't see it, we were blown up by, uh, by a zombie with a whole bunch of bombs strapped to him. I don't remember where he spawns at. I looked it up last time. I don't remember. It's been that long. Um, anyways, for anybody wondering what it is, okay, uh, alright, I'm gonna burn you, I'm gonna burn this guy, you don't really need to burn anybody in this game, any of the, any of the, uh, why am I doing that? <laughs> You don't have to burn any of the zombies, or undead, or whatever you're going to call them, necessarily. Uh, it's not... It's not needed, as you can probably go through this game only visiting each area once. If you know how to play. Which... Yeah, I don't think... Alright, so spoilers for the game later on, but uh, if you've seen anybody talk about this game, you probably don't know this. But you don't stay in the mansion the entire time. You do leave eventually. Is that not something on the, on the floor there? I don't know. I don't. I can't see it. But uh, you don't stay in the mansion the entire time. You do leave, and then you come back. But when you come back, you have no reason to, to go through any of this. Um, so, so Joe can take the broken shot again. So I could technically play the game, get the broken shot again, get the broken bro get the broken shotgun and not have Barry save me, I guess. Okay. So, if you're wondering, that room there, we have no use for it other than kerosene. If we were playing Chris, which I do want to say that if this, if you guys want to see me do so, I will play Chris on 
real survivor or whatever the, the mode is survivor I, I don't remember uh, I will play Chris as that there's really nothing for me to necessarily unlock about this let's play right now I don't think so Yeah, I don't think so, except for maybe Real Survivor. Is that what it's called? Uh, I think it's called Real Survivor. Uh, anyways, guys, so... It's been five freaking minutes, and we haven't even left this... We haven't even left this one room. Holy crap, what am I doing? Okay, anyways, so for anybody who did not see the last video, uh, all that we have to do now is get the dog whistle. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can't even see him. Alright, I'm just gonna leave him. I don't know if I took him down or not, but I'm just gonna leave him be. Did I ever unlock that door on the other side? Oh, shoot! Forest, I forgot all about you, bro. Stay away, Forest! So, for anybody who didn't see the last video, that is Forrest. That is the guy with the bomb strapped around his body. So, I'm just going to check that. Oh, crap. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> uh, this, this let's play is going to suck. Actually, let me see. So, that's right, right? Yes. Yes, that one next to it is the one that I need to get. This is going to suck. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to open that door. I can't believe I forgot Forrest was there, but that's, that's different. Forgetting Forrest is there and, you know other things but yeah, who cares I think that's what that one kerosene was left for I am just all over the place today with talking for anybody who's curious on what just happened alright so we read this uh, for anybody who doesn't know I already got the dog whistle in a separate video and I read all that I, I want to say like part three I already got the dog whistle this room is completely cleared out that's good uh, you don't want to use the door downstairs just yet I'm gonna save that I'm sure although I don't think Barry We'll fix it until we use it and it's broken. Uh, anyways, if you're wondering, Barry Burton, who is the guy who saved us from the trap where the shotgun, when we got the shotgun, whatever, whatever episode that was, uh, he saved us. Uh, I want to be very, very careful of Forrest here. If he grabs me, I will die. <laughs> I have no idea where Forrest is. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe I won't die. Okay, that's nice that I don't die, but, uh... I didn't know that I wasn't going to die, so... 
I thought when he grabbed you, he blew you up instantly. Who knows? Alright, so I believe you have three uses for this, just like the kerosene. For anybody who doesn't know, the kerosene, you have three uses per thing, which means you can fill it up three times. Total of, let's see, six refills. Alright, let's get this doggo. Okay. I remember that being much harder when I was younger. Uh, for anybody wondering, I actually played this game. There's nothing unusual. There's nothing unusual. Alright, that's because we gotta look at the front here. Uh, anyways, for anybody wondering, I actually got this game when I was 13. Yep, it's a key. Woo, it changed into the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. Shaped like a key, but lacks the rigidity to be used as one. Okay, so I should... It should ask me if I want to get rid of the dog whistle up here. You probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Discard it, yes. Where do I go for for this? Never mind. I remember where to go. But uh, for anybody wondering, I actually got this game when I was 13 from a pawn shop. And uh, I used to play it, and I never in... Oh my gosh. Why can't I freaking say words? Anyways, I played this game when I first got it a whole lot and never understood what to do. And then I started, this is probably the first Resident Evil game I played, I think. Yeah, I think this is the first one that I played. And, anyways, I want to say this is the first one that I played. I have Kenneth's, yes, Kenneth's film, okay. Anyways. This is the first game I played, and I didn't understand anything about it. And then I got older, started playing more Resident Evil games. And, uh... I started playing more at Large Bird Kiss. There, there's a dead raven set. Anyways, I started playing more as, uh, as I got older. And one day I decided to come back to this game, and... I instantly knew... I just kind of... Uh, understood what to do I guess uh, I want to be honest I know <sighs> freaking crimson heads once you kill the crimson head I believe the entire zombie dies for good. So burning them is essentially preventing the Crimson Head phase from happening. I don't know, I guess we will uh, find out soon. So I don't remember if we came up here and actually took this. I can't remember if we did. If we did, and you guys know what's about to happen. As you guys can see, this giant spinning blade thing's coming out, coming after me. Uh, so, use the imitation of a key, and kind of like the uh, Indiana Jones thing, but before the Indiana Jones thing. So, I know I never examined the uh, this one. I could. It's just the sword key. Uh, 
I didn't worry about checking that one out because I already had it. Uh, for anybody who does not know, I actually had to start a brand new game of this, and I had I had gotten the sword key. Why did I have to start a new game? Holy crap! I don't remember when I had to when I had to uh, start it start a brand new game of this. I just know I did. So here's the issue. I don't remember where where uh, the armor key is useful. Okay, I still have more defense items. Okay, but uh, I don't remember where the armor key is, is used. Oh, jeez. That scared me. Holy crap. No. Freaking forest. No. Leave that hallway, please. Okay, so there's one thing that I do want to do, and that is show off the closet key. I believe I said something about that. Uh, I want to show off the closet key. So for anybody who doesn't know, this is the remake of the... Uh, there's a design of a female side face beautifully embossed on the key. Anyways, this is the GameCube remake of Resident Evil, not PlayStation 1. Not that I dislike the PlayStation 1 game, I just don't own it. This is the only copy of Resident Evil 1 that I do own. And I do understand that there's Resident Evil HD out there. Once again, I don't own it. I own this one. Uh, I still think this one is beautiful and holds up well. Uh, it honestly can hold its own against the whole uh, HD. Okay, I was just making sure that that the camera was good. Uh, anyways. I'm pretty sure I might have said something about, uh, about showing off the closet key. Okay, so, uh, this here is the closet, this painting back here. Uh, so you can keep it if you want it. I'm not going to, it takes up space in the, uh, box and in my inventory, and this is the only place that you can use it. So as you guys can see we have a mirror here. It's Jill. I forget which side is which. A set of army fatigues that looks like it would fit you. Put it on. Uh, sure. This is not my favorite of the costumes. There's two of them I believe. This is not technically three this, however, is not my favorite. I do not. I do not dislike this set, this costume, but it is not my favorite. So, if anybody wondering why I'm keeping this like in front of the doorway, there's actually a zombie that appears. Anyways, as you guys can see, this is not my favorite. I do like it as a design. Um. It's just not my favorite. However, I will show off the other one. Chris has two as well, but uh, we will have to get into that uh, during uh, Real Survivor. But uh, anyways, so a set of casual clothes that looks like it would fit you. Put it on. So this is my favorite out of the two just because it's... Yeah, from the, the other games in the series. But uh, for anybody wondering, this is actually Jill's outfit from Revelation, Revelations. No, Resident Evil uh, 3. 
I'm thinking of the res of the Revelations games. Uh, anyways, so uh, I'm gonna make this video a little longer, maybe 25 minutes. However, I would love for you guys to tell me: Would you guys rather see longer videos or uh, shorter ones? And if you've stayed, if you are seeing this right now, thank you for watching this far into the video. Uh, like I said, thank you. Really means a lot. So, when do Crimson Heads start showing up here? There's a ton of spots where just Crimson Head zombies just show up. Uh, a new enemy, which we will see later on in the game, which I hate the most. But uh, I will be honest, I did not know that they started out in this game. Oh, is it? I killed the dogs on the terrace? So they're not going to appear here? That's. Oh. A boiler. Okay, well, there's one dog. But I thought there was like two or three that show up. I don't know. Maybe killing them out on the terrace part does lessen the, uh... Okay. See what I mean? They just show up. Forrest, don't be here. I know you spawn here, dude. I know you do. Oh gosh, what was that? There was a noise. I think zombies can bust down doors too. Okay, yay, this puzzle, which I don't know how to do. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. It's set in the other. There's a switch here. Press it. No. I don't remember this. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, Okay, so the the necklace is what purple. It's purple. A necklace, a bracelet, and a crown. Is that orange, purple, green? All right, so So this will be a picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass. Should the valiant has turned green. Okay, so orange, right? Oh shoot, no. So, so as you can see, if you get it wrong, you get attacked with these freaking birds. Is that all of them? Holy crap. Freaking leave me alone, you stupid bird. Okay, it was an accident. Okay, I didn't mean to do it.
Okay, I'm not. At least the 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 crows are gone. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. And the saint has turned green. So we want it to be green. This is the necklace. Has turned a deep red. Okay. Alright, so orange and then green, purple, orange. That's what I'm going with. I think there's the three colors anyways. That's turn purple. Uh, for anybody wondering, I am actually colorblind. So, uh, stuff like this always confuses me. Okay, yes, green, purple, orange. I have never solved that puzzle on my own like that. So it's really cool to be, to do something like that. Yeah, I couldn't use the lockpick on the other side, eh, Jill? I swear that there were spinner zombies at one point. Maybe there weren't. I'm just crazy, but I could have sworn there were. Maybe there are further, further, uh, further down the line. Uh, okay, so thank you guys for watching this this part of Resident Evil One. Uh, we'll uh, we'll continue on next video when uh. When we actually return to the drug room, also known as that room where we saved at. So uh, I'm going to go save real quick. And then I'll end it off there. Um, I've got some stuff i got to record. Switch the icon at times. So, holy crap, boys. No. 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 Holy crap, you scared the crud out of me, Forrest. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, there's the spitter thing. Oh, dukes. Jukes. I just went extremely quiet there. I was just all focus. Oh, come on, bro. Come on! He followed me into the room? Man, I thought I was being all cool and safe. But no, freaking Forrest is going to go and follow me around. Oh my gosh. This is not going to be fun for the next episode. Holy crap. Alright, our fourth time saving here. Clear, clear, clear. Mansion Estate. Mansion East Stairs. Alright, anyways, with that, thank you guys for watching. I am that one red guy. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like if you enjoyed the video, and goodbye, guys. Uh, it's been a lot of fun playing these games. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing this series. I definitely enjoy playing it. But, uh, yeah.